All right, so all of you keep asking me to do some videos about the psychology of people who watch, how do you say a mukbang, mukbang? Mukbang. Mukbang, so I got Carly Steele here, who loves those videos, and now we're gonna chat about it. What is up, everybody? It's Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem. And focus on the solution. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even warn me that was right. That's great. But anyways, introduce yourself to my audience again. Hi, I'm Carly. We did a video on my channel about addictions and talking about my addictions. So if you guys want to check that out, you can. Mm -hmm. and we, yeah, we did, we did two videos for my channel. I don't know which one's coming out first. Yeah. But anyways, anyways, so a lot of you have asked me to do videos about mukbangs, who watches them, why they watch them. And I don't know because I don't know anybody who watches these. So like Carly and I were texting a few weeks ago. I was like, do you watch mukbangs? And you said you did. Yes. Okay, who, okay, let's start. Let's start here. Who do you, who do you watch? Who are your favorite, what do you call them, mukbangers? Yes, Nikocado Avocado. I like watching Amberlynn Reed, Trisha Paytas. Matt Stoney, I think it's Matt Stoney. Matt Stoney is his name is. Yeah. He's a like he eats really really fast. He's a competitive eater. Okay. So you have like a whole. B love, yeah. Wow. Okay. All right. So so let me let me get into your mind. Like when did you start watching them and like why? I started watching them probably like two years ago. I think is when like started to become a thing. And I watched them because I was just like mostly because I wanted company when I ate. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay, that kind of makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Um, like if I'm eating, like they're eating, I'm eating, and I get to, to like listen to somebody talk while I'm eating. I also watch them because they're super long. And if I'm like cleaning or if I'm like doing laundry, I can kind of listen to it in the background, kind of like a podcast. Yeah. But then I also hear they're chewing and like they're eating and they're like, mmm, good food. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So like, I, I think like I talked about this in, I forgot, another video. You've probably seen it. Somebody's seen it. All right. But anyways, like uh, just about relationships with youtubers it was with in my video with psych irl donna but anyways like that kind of relationship so so like what you just touched on so it's not like you're eating alone you're eating with somebody yeah so it doesn't feel as lonely yes okay and you're not silent you know that's cool that's good okay so that kind of makes sense so some people might do it so they don't feel so lonely yes do you have any friends who watch these too chloe in the bedroom watches them. does she have like similar Feeling. She watches the same people for the same reason. For the same reason. We okay. watch them together. Even though we're together, though, we still watch them, which okay. is weird because I guess it's more than a company thing. Because but then it's like you have like a whole like group, mm -hmm. so it's not just you two. You got like a third person. Yeah. In there. Okay. Got it. Okay. So I don't even know how this works. Is there mukbang ASMR? Uh huh. Do you, is that the same people or are there specific no. channels that There's do that? There's different people. Do you that watch those? I don't watch, which is more interesting, and I feel like. I don't Interesting know. how. Because those people watch those specifically for the sounds. Yeah. Or like the chewing sounds or the swallowing sounds. And they for like the senses, I'm watching more for like the connection. Okay. And that's something like, by the way, I have nothing against ASMR. Just for me, it doesn't work. Agreed. Now, when it comes to ASMR, I will say this: like, one of the most irritating noises to me is someone eating food. Mm-hmm. Loud chewers, me too. Yeah, okay. So the mukbangers that you watch, Nikocado and yeah. all that, are they silent chewers? Do they chew with their mouth closed or that? I feel around? like the ones I watch chew normally, like a normal person, like they're not super loud, blah, blah, blah. But they do, because they're talking the whole time, they uh -huh. are a little bit more than if you were like to go out to dinner and you like cover your mouth. They're not gonna do that. Yeah. Um, but the ones I watch are more like, just like eating and talking. Would it be a deal breaker if one of them just smacked their food around all crazy? All the time, super loudly. Yeah. Yes, I would not. So if like Nikocado just started, just nom, 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 you just cut him out. Yeah. Oh dang! You know what's so funny night. when you went nom 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 nom? That's a mukbanger's intro. Really? Yeah. Oh man, maybe I've been maybe I've been secretly watching <laughs> mukbangs. So okay, so from what I've because I just I just made a video the other day about Veronica Wang and all her drama. But anyways, like I when I was doing my research, they go to different places like. So again, I'm trying to understand people like Carly who watch it. Does it matter what food they're eating? Or, oh, this is interesting. Do you ever get the same food that they're eating? Yes. 
What? Yes. Okay, by the way, if you watch mukbangs, let me know down in the comments. Is this a thing? Yes. Okay, so give me an example. like. So, Trisha Paytas, I know her meal at Domino's. It's a cheese pizza with chicken alfredo. And usually she has like a LaCroix or something. And I always get, like, if I know that she just posted one, I'll make sure I have that for dinner and I'll eat it with her. Yeah? Yeah. Please let me know down in the comments if you do that too, because that is fascinating. But like, do you, so, but does it matter what they're eating? Like if somebody's, if somebody's eating like a certain type of food, you're like, oh no, I, I'm not gonna watch that. Because like with all of our videos, like like your video, you do a, your channel, you do a variety of things. Like I have audience members who watch certain videos, but not other ones. <gasps> so is that the same for people who watch mukbangs? Like if they're eating a certain food, do you not watch or? Um, I don't like to really watch noodles. Cause it's noisy? It's super noisy, slurping, and it's like harder, for, like, I can't, they're not really talking much, they're just like slurping noodles in their mouth. And then same with like seafood, like crab legs, they have to like break it open, slurp it out, so it's, that's more noisy. So anything that's a little bit more noisy, I don't, Yeah. like chips, like I don't want to watch that. Okay, but some of what you're saying too is like, they're, I think you were telling me this in a text too, so some of them are like, almost like story time you, yes. YouTubers. But it adds more to it because, like Tana, she just sits in front of the camera and talks. All right, <laughs> so explain to me, like, what are they talking about? Is it like stories from their life or like things that happened in the past? Like, what are they telling stories about? Um, sometimes they'll tell stories about like what happened in their day, what's happening in the YouTube world, or politics, or they'll talk about their experience with the fast food place that they just went to. Yeah. Um, they'll be like, "Oh, I like this, but I don't like this," or "I got this because this was new and this isn't." So they kind of do a review at the same time. Do they get like sponsored by like these food places? Um, I know my friend Nick got sponsored by like this milkshake company, but not usually. I've only, I don't see him get sponsors very often. Really? Yeah. Okay. For so, food at least. He gets sponsors for other things, but not food. That's even Which more. Which is weird, but like, if you think about it, the companies are getting free promotion anyways. Why would they pay for it? What a bunch of jerk companies. Like, at least give them some free meals. Um, I know Trisha Paytas gets, um, like a lot of free Burger King in 7-Eleven. She gets like a bunch of free Burger King. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So let me ask you this. So let's say I was gonna just get into mukbangs. Yes. Okay, I'm not saying I am, because I have some other questions. <laughs> but like, what what do you look for? Like, what makes somebody good? What makes them bad? Is it is it personality? Is it what they eat? Is it like their stories? Like, is there anybody that you like kind of checked out and you weren't sure about them and you watch more and you're like, I don't know. Like, what is it? Um, for me, I think it's a lot about their personality mm -hmm. and the way that they enjoy their food like if they're just gonna like shove it in their mouth super quickly and like the video is like five minutes and i know they're like you could tell that they're like rushing to eat and not taking their time then i don't want to watch them and their personality is a huge thing too because sometimes i don't even like watch the video i'm just mm -hmm. listening god so you know what's interesting we did we did a video where i was teaching you mindfulness and we did some mindful eating so would you say you like mukbangers who do mindful eating yes Aha! So you already knew about this, you just didn't know that you knew. I guess so. That's okay. true. Got it. So now, now we're gonna get now we're gonna get into a more serious mental health topic. Okay. So I one of the reasons that people have asked me about it is I just want to hear your opinion on this. Like it's unhealthy, right? Like what are what are your thoughts? Like you being somebody who watches these things, like do you feel watching those like uh tristan and i my girlfriend we've talked about it and like we think it would make us hungry or would make us overeat or anything like do you think that it has that effect on you yes really i do um if i watch something like say if i'm not hungry or i'm not eating but i'm just watching to watch it and, like they're eating something i'm like all of a sudden i'm like i want i want that exact food and i want it now even if I, and, but like if i wouldn't wasn't gonna watch it i probably wouldn't have been hungry Really? Yeah. And like I'll crave that food. Like because I'm seeing them eat it, I'm like, oh my gosh. Like I want that. Does that food. make like an internal struggle in your head? Like I want I to watch so. this person because I like them, but it's gonna make me hungry. I think so. And I think also because I'm like, oh they're doing it, I could do it too. Oh the justification. So I'm just like uh. Oh, like if my like I'm thinking about it from like I'm a YouTuber, but I'm also like a fan yeah. of them. So I'm like, oh well if they're doing it, I can do it. And I'm 20 and I'm thinking that, so I can't imagine 14 or 13 year olds that are yeah. watching it. Well, part of it, what I've talked about, because I've made some videos about Amber Lynn, but also on the other side of it, um, like uh, Eugenia Cooney and things like that. And like, that's what people ask is like, is this justifying bad behavior with other people and stuff? And like, I don't know, in your opinion, what do you think 
What do you think some like a mukbanger might be able to do? Like, is there anything they could do? Because that's their bread and butter. <laughs> yeah. Food joke. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, that's their bread and butter. That's how they make their money. Yeah. So, like, I wouldn't tell them to not do that. But you think there's anything they could do to, like, I don't know, help, like, like eat? Should they like eat something healthier? Should they have smaller portion sizes? I don't know. Like, I don't watch people that are eating like a salad. <laughs> that's a crazy thing. It's not interesting. I don't want to watch someone eat a salad. I don't even want to eat a salad. I'm not going to want to watch someone eat a salad. So you don't think, do you think it would be successful if there was like the healthy mukbanger? Do you think that would work or do people, do you, okay, you know what? Let's get even deeper in the mind of Carly Steele. Do you want to watch somebody watch, like eat something disgusting and unhealthy? Yes. Oh wow. You said that was some, uh, some authority. Yes. Like greasy and like... Cheesy and super and wh bad. Wh why do you think that is? I don't know. Oh my god. Okay, okay. This is interesting. We need some maybe kind of... Maybe like living through them, maybe? I'm like, mm. But then you're not even living through them because then you actually do it. True. So you are being them. I don't know. Okay, let me ask this. Because we, we kind of touched on it, but I, I just want to... I, I Do you think that a mukbanger watching them is just justifying... A crappy eating behavior that you were you wanted to do, and you know what I mean, because we're saying how it influences you and helps justify. Do you think maybe there's a part of you, like way back here, that's just like, I'm gonna watch it because I want to eat something unhealthy and I want an excuse. Probably, yeah. yeah. I mean, that makes sense. That's crazy. I don't know. I don't, I don't even... know either, but I do know like everything is like your brain's always paying attention, so mm -hmm. like it's kind of subconscious, like. When we're kids, we walk, we're like McDonald's Happy Meals. Oh my gosh, yeah. Happy Meals are so amazing because yeah. they make it so happy. And they're and they're getting reinforced too because that's how you get views. That's how you get money. That's yeah. how you get brand deals. That, you know, so it's like this whole thing. So let me ask you this: I'm wondering if so. You know how they say, "Don't go to the grocery store while you're hungry." Yeah. Have you ever tried to eat before watching a mukbang and see if that helps? It does help. It does. Oh, okay. Here's your tip. There's your tip right there. I guess. Look at you. You can have a mental health channel. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I have messed up mental health, so. <laughs> yeah, well, that's that's the journey, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, maybe that's a tip to eat something before. But. Uh-oh. I'll think about that until my next meal. And then when I make my decision for my next meal, I'm thinking about that mukbang I just watched. What did they eat? How good was it? And then I'll make my next meal's decision on that. By the way. In case you didn't hear at the beginning, make sure you watch the video we did about addictions. <laughs> like, just like the way your brain works, I can relate to it so much. Because yeah. I'm like, that sounds like some stuff I would do. Yeah. You know, like, that's, this is interesting. This is interesting. So I don't, I don't know, because like competitive eating has been around forever. Mm -hmm. I know that has. And then this whole genre popped up. And like, I don't know, part of what I do on my channel is just look at different niches and are they healthy, unhealthy, and stuff like that. But I don't know, at the end of the day, just be mindful. So the stuff that we're talking about, are these things that you've noticed before, these things that you talk with Chloe about, like justifying, you know, no. eating or anything? Okay. No. Do you think it might change anything about what you do in the future? Yes. Yeah, are you lying to me right no. now? No. Oh, okay. No. Carly's very honest, by the way, just so you know. I am, I'm very honest. <laughs> she, would have, she would have told me if she was lying. I'm not So lying. I don't know, so part of this, by the way, that's that's mindfulness right there. Like mm -hmm. part of this is just talking stuff out with anything. Just oh okay. Like why do I think the way I think? Why do I do what I do? And da 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 da. I don't know. Just pay more attention. Yeah. So let me know down in the comments below if you can relate to anything that we were just talking about. Because now I'm fascinated, and I want to do more research. So I know some people watch them when they're on a diet though to live through them and be like, mm, I just had that when I didn't. And really? it helps them with a diet. I know that. That does not help me at all. If any of you out there are like that, let me know because I might have some questions for you. Yeah, that's not me, but someone. I know yeah. people that do that, yeah. Because I'm wondering, because I, I was just uh, reading a book about neural associations, and part of it is just like associating things with bad, and then eventually, because I taught you about the habit loop and mm -hmm. all that, but like just mentally associating that with bad things, I wonder if you could do that. For example, for me, like, I, I don't go to bars or anything, but when I do end up at a bar, I'm going to a concert and there's alcohol, my brain has associated that with something bad, so my cravings don't even really come up. So I'm wondering if you could do that, you know? Like my buddy who's sober, he is a bartender, and he sees so many drunk people just ruining themselves that it doesn't make him want to. So I wonder if you could do that in some weird way. Mm -hmm. I don't know, this is all very interesting, and maybe I'll look and see if there's any studies on this stuff. 
I don't know. Any other any other thoughts? I, uh, I don't wait. I don't like watching people eat normal portions. I want like a big portion. Yeah, this is all messed up, Carly. We could have just cut the video there. <laughs> Anyways, let me know down in the comments below. Make sure you go check out the other collabs that Carly and I did, and all her links are gonna be down below. Any closing messages for the lovely rewired soldiers out there? Nope. She loves you. I'll say that for her. <laughs> I uh, love you. <laughs> anyways, thanks for watching. Like the video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and we'll see you later.